Hello, I'm Carol Lau. I'm an instructor in economics at Concordia University. I will be teaching the course Economics 203, Introduction to Macroeconomics. What is macroeconomics? Economics is actually not just graphs and equations. It's actually a quite interesting subject. In macroeconomics, we will begin with looking at gross domestic product, a measurement of the wealth of Canada. For example, say in the year 2005, we produce about $1.5 trillion worth of goods and services. What actually account for such production and how come we don't produce less or produce more? And what can be done in order so that we can actually produce more? So now the question is, why didn't we produce more or produce less in the year 2005? Other variables that we would also look at is, for example, inflation. In Canada, we tend to see inflation to hover around 2% per year. In some countries, for example, say Zimbabwe or Mexico in the 1980s, tend to have over 100% inflation or very high double-digit inflation rates. We would want to explore as to how come one country has low inflation rates and some countries actually have such high inflation rates. We would also look at unemployment rates. When unemployment rate is high, does it actually mean that we have fewer jobs? Or if unemployment rate is low, does it mean that we have created more jobs? And it turns out that it's not necessarily. In order to look at the performance of the economy, we will look at the short run time frame versus the long run time frame. The short run time frame, we can draw the parallel in terms of a day to day operation of a firm, a company. We would like to see business to run as smooth as possible. What can be done to actually make the economy perform well? We will look at fiscal policies and monetary policies. Fiscal policies would include, for example, government spending as well as taxation. Monetary policies would be, say, the Bank of Canada changing the interest rates. Once we can achieve day-to-day -day operation of the economy, short-run fluctuations to be minimum, then we would proceed to look at the long-run growth of the economy, very similar to what direction a company is actually taking over a longer period of time. We want to look at fiscal policies and monetary policies that can be used in order to increase our productivity, as well as innovation, technological improvement, for Canada over a longer period of time. We would also look at the value of the Canadian dollar, such as why the Canadian dollar was actually so weak back in the year 2000, 2001. 62 cents, that's how much one Canadian dollar could buy. And then recently, in the year 2006, 2007, we actually reached parity or even higher than the US dollar. Some economists have also mentioned that perhaps Canada should adopt the US dollar as its common currency. We can also explore some of the costs and benefits associated with such an idea. I hope that you'll be interested in pursuing these topics further by enrolling in the course. Thank you.